Hello everybody and welcome to my channel. I am Christian and today we will talk about Camwash 2022. This new version was launched a few months ago. I worked with it and I'm ready to show you some of the improvements. So let's start. First, post-processing get a new improvement like speed for post-processing and operations header in post user interface when you use the fast mode. I will show you later on this video. Another great and important new option is the support for barrel tools for mill operation. I will show you some examples of barrel tools later and the most important thing you can use these tools for 2.5 axis mill operation exception is whole strategies and volume mill three axis but you need to have the option for tool path generation method set to advanced and multi-axis operations like the examples i have right now on my uh, computer all the types of barrel tools is defined in the technology database let me show you what types of barrel tools you can use right now in camos so choose barrel tools barrel type standard this is the one conical this is tapered lens advanced these are the five types of barrel tools which can right now be used in camos because right now we have a multi-axis operation i just want to tell you that mostly i use barrel tools for four or five axis simultaneous finishing operation but also i want to tell you that um, five axis operation has a new option for gauge checking for automatic tilt relative to direction of cut and rotary axis so right now you have another good and excellent new option in five axis simultaneous in camos but if you follow my youtube channel you know that i like simple enhancement and this new enhancement is a great one because you have a new tab to define and modify multi-surface feature automatic avoid and contain area also and trust me it will make your life much much easier if you ask me i will show you so right now i have here uh, an area clearance and a multi-axis mill so for area clearance i just add it and here i have a new tab which is called geometry i can define here anything i can see it i have i can control it this is the features i have uh, i have uh, avoid features faces to avoid user defined contain area user defined avoid areas and also the method for automatic container you have everything here inside your three axis operation operation which is very very good if you ask me so let's try right now to post process use the fast mode it's much much the speed it's fast <laughs> as uh, as this um, uh, button said uh, but right now in this is the operations header and you see what types of uh, uh, the name of the operation which is uh, post process one of the um, options that uh, differentiate cameras for competitors are tolerance based machining and right now tolerance based machining has a new option which is called maximum material condition which can be used for features with multiple dimensions and multiple tolerance ranges I don't know how much of you are using tolerance based machining, but if you want my recommendation or my opinion, I just uh, recommend you, of course, to use it. And with these these new options, you will option you will find tolerance based machining much much better. So right now I will move on for um, 
volume in operation you have right now the option to convert rapid move moves to height feet moves uh, only in uh, volume in toolpath and also option to convert arc moves to line moves to line moves so when you edit the rough mill operation for volume mill you have here the uh, operation to convert rapid move to high feed moves which is uh, also a great uh, enhancement because uh, it will uh, have uh, volume mill with will save time and be more and more quickly uh, or more and more rapid but i told you earlier about the, si the simple in enhancement let's talk about contour mill and one of the most important things when you do programming which is called cnc compensation in later versions of cameras for some users experience or not these two options uh, cnc compensation and toolpath center can be confusing i don't want to talk about other softwares i know what they are the algorithm are is for competitors but right now with this new enhancement you have a new way of describing the reduced com compensation for contour mill operation and right now the cnc compensation i'm talking about g41 or 42 for funnel controllers it is hard for some experienced user to understand but right now let's take a look of what we have in cameras 2022 cnc finishing parameters the first good cnc compensation none or yes and also yes means for example g41 and g42 which everybody can understand also toolpath center we have two options with compensation and the explanation toolpath is offset by the tool radius it is very important and without compensation tool center is on feature geometry if you need uh, we can talk about this uh, toolpath center options but thank you cameras for this addition because it makes my life much much easier right now if you ask me it is logical which and what does this two new group of functions another and uh, let's say uh, the last uh, improvements i want to talk to you about a little bit we have uh, a new license licensing method uh, to activate the license online which is also makes my life easier because it is it is great and it will speed up the process so this is the most important enhancement in cameras 2022 in my opinion of course and as always if you like the video please subscribe to my channel or follow my linkedin profile we will find links for linkedin and youtube in the description of, of this video don't forget to leave comments thank you and stay safe goodbye